I'm here today to help you have a good idea to help kids figure out geometric shapes all from a plain, simple square. So obviously a square is a square sheet of paper. If you don't have one, you could take and measure it with ruler and make sure all sides are equal. So you have your square, fold it diagonally, crease it, and you can cut that off and you would have a triangle. And from your triangle, you can also make a pentagon. And all you need to do is fold it in a little bit on either side. I'll show you this side. Kind of bring it in this way so it's kind of a little higher, like this. And you would have your pentagon. Now from your pentagon, you can simply take and cut off this top piece here, running it parallel to the bottom piece, and here would go your hexagon. You could take a square, fold it exactly across from each other, and that would give you your rectangle. It's all related to a square piece of paper, which is kind of very unique. You then could take if you had a square piece of paper, and obviously the easiest piece would be take something that's already existent round, and there are some circle templates out there, or you could just take a cup or glass and just trace around it, and you can get the easiest way for getting a circle and cutting that out. You can take a square and fold it in half, and in half again, and bring it in to the middle. You're going to give yourself these extra squares, and that'll give you some points so you can, instead of eyeballing, you could eyeball this, but sometimes it's just easier that you can be cutting. See how this one corner square is? Just take and run that edge to edge, cutting it off the corners equal triangles here, like this, and you can have your stop sign, your eight-sided octagon, here's red for octagon, and also what you can do is take for a heptagon, once again do all those little folds in there, And what we're going to do is we're going to look at this top corner here and we're just going to cut it at this first angle from this intersection up to there. We're going to take and cut it at an angle to the midpoint and then from the midpoint I'm going to just tip my scissors a little bit better and come it right to the point of the top of the square. So to reverse that, I'm going to cut from the top of the square to the middle of this line, just like this. And then I'm going to just turn the angle a little bit and bring it down to the center. So I've got one, two, three, four sides right there. And then I'm going to bring the middle point all the way down to the first corner there, like that. And then these two are going to stay. I'm going to take from the bottom here and bring them up to that middle point, and that would give you your seven-sided. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'd have your heptagon. So, hope you had fun with geometric shapes. Remember, it can all start with a square. Have a great day. Bye.